our baby chick come in today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Good morning. Welcome to my Good morning. Welcome to Red Barn Acres. Um, I'm Stephanie and that's Steven. We are married and we do live together, but this is the first time you've seen us together. Yeah, we are going to the post office this morning in the middle of a COVID-19 quarantine to pick up 28 baby chicks. Yes, I'm so excited. resurfacing our road. Here's a one lane bridge we're going to cross. Here's our tiny little post office. We're at the post office now. We're going to pick up some baby chicks. Got my gloves on so I don't touch any packages. The mail sorter's wearing a mask. This is all scary. We got our chickies. Look at that! Oh, look at that! Look at the babies! They're awesome! Wait, what's it? So we got the little chicks in the trunk and they're so cute. Um, I want to talk about the fact that we ordered these chicks before the coronavirus hit and we're so glad that we did. Our plan with these chicks for most of them is to uh, process for meat, so that will help our family out a lot. Um, however, um, it, this pandemic has not changed our goals and our lifestyle all that much because we were already in um, a self-sustaining mode, trying to become more self-reliant. So we're happy that um, you know Stephen's able to work from home, and uh, we don't have to go anywhere. We can be very cautious. We can provide food for ourselves. Uh, it's really a way to go. When we picked up the box from the back door of the post office. The lady comes to the door wearing a surgical mask and gloves. I think she was the mail sorter. I didn't recognize her because of her mask, but she kept her distance and reached way out to hand us the package. Um, that's not encouraging. So we put the, um, the baby chicks in the box in the back of the car in the trunk to keep them out of our cabin. So uh, when we get home, we're gonna put gloves on, get the box out, take them out to the brooder, and then uh, put the baby chicks in the brooder with a different set of gloves because our kids want to handle these baby chicks, but we may wait a day or so before we let the kids handle them. Um, we just don't know how to be careful with things like this, but I'm trying my best to avoid any exposure. Uh, we're not going anywhere, we're not shopping, we're staying at home. This is like the first time Stephanie's been out of the house in two weeks at least. Yeah. So, um, let's try to do our best. Yeah. Back at the homestead. The kids really want to see these chicks, especially um, little Matea. So, we're going to wake them up. It is pretty early. And um, drive them out to the barn and let them... Uh, experience this. I'm gonna go upstairs and wake up the kids. Hey, wake up. We just got our baby chicks in. Do you wanna go see them? Hop in the car, we're going to drive them out to the barn. Are you excited to see the chicks? Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright, we got Matea. They're in the back of the car, Matea. Okay, we got our water in. 
feed. do when we put these chicks in here is touch their beaks to the water so they know that it's there and then they'll probably find the heat plate and huddle under there until they're comfortable to come out and look for food and water. So they're all in. They are quite interested in the water. I got this brooder, uh, this heater, from Incubator Warehouse on Amazon. Um, this feeder is from Tractor Supply, so is the waterer. We are reusing this one from a previous year, but we bought this new. I'll put some product links in the description for these. This hole in the middle, according to the advertisement, is to give them some heat relief. If you get too many chicks under this, they can uh, actually suffocate in the middle. So this allows them some breathing room and uh, a relief from some of that heat if they get cramped too much together. I want to hold one now. Steven's making me wear gloves. Oh, don't be scared, little fella. <laughs> what a cutie. We got these from Murray McMurray Hatchery, um, obviously by mail, and uh, I do recommend their company. They are great companies. <laughs> They've been around a very long time, delivered many, many checks through the mail. Obviously, we have had a good experience here. So I built this brooder box, it's uh, 3 feet by 3 feet and uh, 2 feet deep. It's also got a lid with hinges with wire so we can lock at night. But we do have wild animals around and I don't want the wild animals getting to these babies. Something we do every morning. We gotta protect our chickens at night. This is where the babies will be when they grow up a little bit. That's right. Talk about your plans for the red coop, honey. Well, the the red coop's getting busy. <laughs> he does that. Anyway, <laughs> for the red coop. For the red coop, what I'd like to do is to wall in the uh, sides, make it more weatherproof. Um, we've calculated enough room in this coop uh, for the new flock. Uh, there may be a few that join the the uh, white coop but uh, we should have enough here but we just gotta have to wall this in around the sides so, and that's it we're also uh, planning on getting some movable fences and uh, pasturing these chickens every day moving them around on the pasture so they don't wear any one spot out so they're on fresh green grass <coughs> getting bugs and grass every day um, that's our plan for especially our meat chickens, but our egg layers as well. And uh, and then they will have, our meat chickens will have one bad day, but they will live good lives. This poor baby had something happen to her. I don't know if it was the other chickens or a predator, but I put blue coat on her. It's an antiseptic, and it also keeps the other chickens from wanting to peck at it. And uh, she seems to be healing up slowly but surely. 
Hamish. Hamish is doing okay. We just put it on there to keep him, or the other ones from pecking at him too hard. He had a spot on his neck that had um, damaged somehow. But uh, we couldn't get him sprayed. He was too wily. He actually got sprayed where he's not injured. <laughs> well, that's the end of our video about our new baby chicks. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like. <laughs>